Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and in this video, we're gonna go all raw. Absolutely raw, no editing and we're gonna talk about the Apple's WWDC. So Apple just rolled out a new product. I have few of my thoughts and I would like to present these thoughts in front of you so that you can also get some another perspective, a developer's perspective. Now before I share, I have actually written a few points on which I'm going to talk and this is going to be an absolute raw video so that you can understand what's my thought behind it and what can be one of your thought points behind it. But before that, I would like to show you something, something really, really interesting. So notice here, this is Apple's website and notice here, this is the Apple's uh, website of indianversion.in and this is the Apple's website of, no, this one is apple.com, the official version which is rendered in the United States. So notice here, in the Indian version, if I go ahead and scroll this one, what I see is the first product is MacBook Air 15 inch, all right, it was announced, Mac Studio and Mac Pro, this was also announced. But if I go up into this one, and notice here something interesting. The first product is Apple Vision Pro. So the Indian website is not yet updated. I don't know why this shouldn't be happening. At least every single uh, country specific website. Why? What's the reason that why Apple is not even showcasing the Vision Pro? It's not like that Indians can buy. They will buy in bulk for sure. But what's the point of not putting this on the website? Like a lot, iOS 17, iOS iPad OS, Watch OS, there's a lot, there's a lot. I don't understand what's the point of not showcasing the product even on the Indian website. Probably it's too early to say or judge, but you just keep that in the continuation loop and let me know in the comment section that is the website getting updated ever or it's not. So uh, we really would like to keep a track of it that what's fishy going on with this one? What's the thought behind of not putting the product on the Indian website? All right, that's a controversial one, but I would like to keep that. Okay, so here's my raw thoughts about the Apple. So Apple recently announced a whole lot of bunch of products, new MacBook, obviously that's obvious, it's not a big deal. The product is being in the lineup for so many long of the years, and we know what it looks like, it's just a bigger screen, better performance, and blah, blah stuff. But what's catching everybody's attention is a new product, a new lineup. Apple has been rolling out new products and new lineup for quite some time and it's not like the iPhone, after the iPhone no new product was launched. I, we saw the Apple Watch as well, we saw the headphones as well, a couple of new lineups. But this one is really, really interesting. I'm pretty sure Zuckerberg might be super happy that finally the name change that, the, that he did of the meta, somebody else is also betting on it and in a big, big way. So, alright. So first let's address the point number one which I've written here. Is it pricey? Yes, we're directly nailing it down. Yes, it is pricey. It's right now a really rich tool that some people are going to get and it's not meant for every single person. Right now, this is more focused towards developers. I'll talk about that in a minute, but it's absolutely pricey. I don't recommend it to buy to anyone. I'm not gonna be buying it right out of the box because it's obviously the version one product. I don't have any development requirement to develop for that particular specific product, so I won't be buying it either. And in fact, buying for majority of the audience doesn't make sense at this point of time. I'll come back more onto the developer side of it in a minute, but this is the take. But just saying that it's pricey, nobody should buy it, we cannot just, just get away from it. It's a new product, it's going to open up probably a billion dollar industry very soon because it's a new app store that has been launched. If you go back in the history, everybody was just very much not optimistic about the app store that came out. Everybody said, who will be downloading the apps from the app store and who will be purchasing it? And now here we are, a lot of people are buying it, a lot of people are purchasing it. So we cannot just disregard the fact that it's changing the industry. Now Apple definitely did some fancy magic with the Apple Vision Pro. I saw the MKBHD's video as well and it's pretty magical. Now this brings us to the two, uh, next point is why is it so expensive? Why the payment is so expensive? Now. It's, it's really interesting to see one of the research work that is around in a lot of research paper that making a payment for some product is also an experience. And Apple is known for designing experience, not for the product. Now, if the same product is, is given to you, like for example, let me give you an example here. If the same iPhone was available to you in the range of 20,000, 30,000 rupees, will you be buying it? Absolutely. The very next day you will be buying it. If iPhone 14 is available for you for 30,000, all other Android phones are going to go into dustbin and people are going to buy it aggressively. But that's the whole idea behind the Apple. The payment, pa 
putting payment for some product is also an experience. And try to make your product so good that people, if they don't pay for it that much high, they don't enjoy that experience. So that's that's one of the take about the Apple. They like to keep it premium. Like I have also noticed this, if the same course is put up at the price range of free, 300 rupees and 3000 rupees, people likely to buy more on the 3000 side. It's not like crazy expensive like 3 lakh rupees, but if you just put it a little bit higher, people actually judge the quality of the free product. Hey, it's free, it's probably not good. Or if, if it's just 400 rupees, it's not that good. I have seen this, I have experienced it. So that's why probably Apple do a lot of research, a lot of big fashion brands also do that research and they like it. They like to keep it expensive. So uh, that's one take on to this one. Uh, so yes, uh, and another point that is also going around is, is it value for money? Like my next question is, compared to what? It's value for money compared to what? There is no product right now which is coming nearby. Yes, I'm aware there's Oculus, there's a Google product as well. But 5,000 patents, yes, they're doing something there. And that's why every single reviewer, which you are seeing like MKBHD, they are saying it's, it's like a magic. And there is no other thing to explain what's happening there. Too much of eye camera tracking, too much of your hand movement tracking. Like, how is it possible? That's possible because of a lot of engineering goes into it, a lot of research goes into it, and that's why the product is expensive. Of course, it's a version one. So I think one of the strategy that Apple is going for is this product should not be in too many hands because if it will go into too many hands in a very low pricing range, people will complain a lot. But if it goes on to limited hands, we'll get the feedback as well from the real people and we can update it, modify it in version two, and we can lower the price at that point of time. It's a new product. They have to be very, very careful. So that's my point too about the payment experience. Now, the next point, which is obviously, uh, what is this product? Now, I think this is a new dimension of the product. Just like we had MacBook, uh, we have iPhone, this is a new RF product. What's most interesting for me is a new app store. This is the most important thing which everybody should be focusing, but people are not going to be focusing on this because most of the reviewers who are reviewing it or sharing their thoughts around it, they're product reviewers. They're more interested about product. From the developer's perspective, since it was WWDC, I think this is a great opportunity for every single developer. A whole new app store, which is not going to be crowdy right out of the box, but it gives developers an option that, hey, now there's a billion dollar industry which is getting opening up. It's, it's backed by Apple. It's not like Apple is going to just shut down this product. Everybody said it same for the Apple Watch. Everybody said it for the AirPods. Everybody said it for a couple of other products that it's not for everyone. Nobody is going to buy it. Look at around you. Look around you and honestly tell me in the comment section how many more people compared to five years ago and now you see that they are carrying iPhone. Yes, a lot more, a lot more people. How many people on an airplane or an, in a train you see that they are wearing the AirPods? A lot more, a lot more. It opened up a new dimension of a product. More products, more companies are now copying the product and are actually utilizing it. So I think this is a new product which you can wear it will open up new experience like watching movies, playing games, maybe one day coding it out on a big screen. I don't have to keep this big screen on my desk and I can just wear it. But I'm worried about it, whether I'll be doing it. I am more of a nature lover guy, so probably I won't be doing it. Uh, man, this is, this is uh, really, really different. Okay, next product. Uh, why it was launched in WWDC? Now here's a take, here's a take on this one. Will you be buying the PlayStation 5 if there is no game on it? Probably not. 100% not. You buy PlayStation 5 or you think to buy or to have it or to have experience of it because there is always a new game which actually uh, sticks to the PlayStation 5 or whatever the newer version is. And this makes things really, really interesting. The reason why I'm saying this is because right now this product is hollow. This is just a hardware. Nobody buys a hardware. People buy hardware to enjoy some experience, to play some games, to work something on it. And right now this Apple Vision, it's totally, totally empty product. There is nothing in it apart from the Apple apps. That's why it was launched in WWDC. They want first the developers to get their hands on it. That's why they are taking an entire year so that developers can actually understand, can come up with some innovative ways that, hey, this is the experience we can give up because this is just an open-ended framework that is given to you. Now, what creative is gonna be done with it is dependent on the developers and developers creative. And who can deny the fact that developers are creative, very, very creative. And they're going to make sure that the things are there in the App Store, 
whether with a purchase experience or free experience or anything like that. New companies will turn up uh, which are going to rise from absolute zero to a million dollar industry on this just one product. We have seen this. Imagine this is YouTube, just a vague example here. YouTube has given rise to a lot of unicorns. Google never thought that a product YouTube, people by teaching on YouTube, a million dollar, a billion dollar industry will rise, a tech industry, and here we are. It is there just because of YouTube. If YouTube would not be here, there would be no billion dollar unicorns. Similar to this, it's a new lineup, new product, new app store. So 100% I'm sure that new billion dollar unicorns will be there with this app store. Absolutely, that's going to happen. At what time? Probably three years, five years. I don't know about that, but it's surely going to happen. Now, this brings us to the final question here, which I have written for myself to answer. What is the future? Ah, that's, that's the million dollar question itself already. Now, I think Apple is doing a fantastic job and they are betting on something new, which is innovative. And they are not afraid of uh, pulling this up. Nobody would have blamed them if they have launched a new iPhone, expensive one, call it 15, 16, 17, whatever. But they actually took a leap of faith in designing some new computing experience. They did it with the Mac. They did it with the iPhone and now they are doing it with this new thing and there will be a lot of names popping up for this one. Is it a new experience? Yes, it is a new experience for computing. And for the future, do I think it's good experience? Only time will tell because I think right now the screen is getting closer and closer to us. First, I remember TV came in. We used to watch TV in the hall. It was quite far a screen from our eyes. Then came the computers, just an arm length. Then came up the phone, just a few fingers away. And now the screen is right inside my eyes, almost inside my eyes, like how close we want to get the screen. Now people will be disconnected from the reality much more. I still go to my farm and enjoy the nature at its purest form still to this day. But I see a lot of kids don't enjoy this. They even in the farm or nearby, they still like to have their phone, have their uh, cellular network to be there. So people will be disconnected from the reality much, much more. And people who enjoy the nature will enjoy the nature much more. And <laughs> seeing that, hey, rest is just busy in their whole life and screen in front of it, yeah, that, that's going to happen. And uh, people, if you bet on always that people are going to take bad decision, yes, they will. They will always take bad decision. And a lot of new industries are going to open up. Not to mention some quirky industries are also going to open up with this uh, Apple Vision Pro. Uh, some of the really bad ones, I'm not going to talk about them in here. But yes, people are going to be just crazy, going crazy with that. Now, with this, I also think in the future, there will be more work for developer to do because new experience need to be designed and people will be getting all creative. So developers, you don't need to worry about the AI and all of that. Uh, ChatGPT doesn't really know right now that how to even suggest you some code for, for this Apple Vision uh, kit. It's newly out. And that's why I always say developers don't need to be afraid. By the time these chat GPT and all of them will be trained on this new model and the new documentation, you'll already figure out that how to build apps onto it and how to be creative on it. And especially, not just the creative ways, the stupid ways as well. Chat GPT can match the intelligence, not the stupidity. And that's one of the pro features of human. We are stupid and we should be okay with it. These stupidity sometimes bring us new features, new gadgets, new experience, and a whole lot of things. Chat GPT, you are just intelligent, you are not stupid. So I'm banking on that one. So yeah, it's a great new product. I have a lot more thoughts onto it. Probably in the next Saturday Live or something, we're going to discuss that. You keep an eye on this update on this Apple thing on the Indian website, on the global website, and let's see what's happening. So yeah, I'm a pretty optimistic guy, and I think there's a lot of future holding up with the Apple Vision Pro. And I'll see. Let's see together what's going to happen. So this is my raw take, no edit take about what's happening and how this is happening. I'm pretty sure this was pretty much boring with no music, no reels or something in the background music. But hey, this is it. This is what we call as raw. That's it for this one. Let's catch up in the next one.